What is this avatar? You see, you're on this part of the internet where there are these things called VTubers, but hi, welcome in. My, my eyes have exploded. Is it too bright? Is this better? If I like darken up the, the color palette a little bit, is that better? Before we do Slay the Princess though, I do want to do the video game awards. We're going to blow through these really quick. I want to spend like 30 minutes on them. Your model's actually pretty good. It's able to track your hands as well as you're blinking. I also have a tongue. Anyone else think the game awards are a bunch of bullshit? Uh, I, I like the concept for it, but there's, I have some qualms with this year that I'll get to, uh, like game of the year. Most of these came out in the last quarter. It is impossible to please everybody. There's a lot of games that come out. There's a lot of really good games that come out and Jeff Keighley is a good presenter. He's been really brilliant in the gaming journalism space. He seems to actually care. I do think that there are aspects of the Game Awards that seem to focus a little too much on certain areas. Game of the Strictly Year. Let, I, I don't have any off the top of my head, so I can't make a good counter argument right now. That, you know, a game that came out in May is better than all of these. Because honestly, for the last year, all I've played is FF14. And I'm going to vote based on what I think is the most interesting game for game of the year more than I'm going to vote on what I think is the most like technically m marvelous thing that's been created or the most mechanically interesting. I, I, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I feel like game of the year should be more focused on what is interesting in the medium. Holy crap, they made a game about Chris Pratt. Bro, we watched the Mario movie recently. I already talked about it on stream. I don't know if everyone was here for this. Uh, I know YouTube frogs definitely weren't because <laughs> I wasn't multi-streaming when I was talking about it. It's okay. It's all right. Peach could have been eliminated from that movie and nothing would have changed. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong made me laugh. It's a strong seven. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I think... Alan Wake 2 is the most interesting usage of the medium this year. The the most polished and genuinely well executed game though is probably Baldur's Gate 3. I, 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 I have to give it to that. Mario Brothers Wonder, I haven't played it. I Everyone knows my opinion on Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. I'm not a fan of this type of Zelda game too subjective like Oscars or other awards it's more based on what the big heads want to show maybe I feel like that's cynical but I don't think it's inherently wrong but I, I'm not like equipped for a conversation to debate that either so I'm gonna vote for Baldur's Gate for Game of the Year best game direction Baldur's Gate is just glorified D, D smashed into a uh crpg which isn't bad pink haired cat girl hates discussion i love discussion i know you're new here but i think you're new here are you new here I i'm using restream i can't see if you were first time chatter <laughs> you were um no i loved it like we go on tandis all the time <laughs> it's just if i'm not equipped for it i'm just gonna be honest I'm new here, but I act like I know the streamer just for the memes. But you've been here for years then. You've been here since before I was making content online on Twitch. You were here when I was doing H1Z1 content on YouTube back in 2014. <laughs> I'm definitely new here. Sam Rainey, you've been here for a while. You funded the moose that we bought. You funded the moose pillow pet that I still have. It's sitting like next to me. Well, it's not next, next. It's like five feet away. <laughs> I think Mario Brothers Wonder is the best game direction in terms of freshening up the franchise in small ways that elevates it. I haven't played it, so mechanically I can't talk about that. About that. But visually, I think it's the most interesting Mario Brothers game we've had in a while. You always do this. I hope PK is still there. PK is still on my desk. He is sitting on top of a, a, a Ryzen 
seven uh 5700g cpu that's missing five pins and still works <laughs> wonder was amazing uh, amazingly charming top tier mario game you can cut out the new super mario brothers type games and miss nothing yeah no you they're they're those were very safe Th those weren't great platformers they were very safe same i liked wonder more than odyssey okay cool uh someone who might agree with me i think odyssey is severely underwhelming for what it is i think sunshine feels better movement wise vote please don't put resident sleeper in my fucking chat <laughs> Alan Wake 2 would get this, honestly, if Mario Brothers Wonder wasn't up here. I, I think Alan Wake 2 and Remedy are wonderful. Remedy's a wonderful dev that does a lot of interesting things with the medium. But I gotta give it to Mario Brothers Wonder. We might play it someday. It's just uh, Nintendo's very expensive with their video games, and I'm I don't like spending money. <laughs> that Sunshine versus Odyssey take is spicy. Look, okay, I'll, I'll, look, hold on. I'll reach an olive branch out. I will agree that Cappy adds some extra mobility. I think Sunshine just feels tighter to play. That That's my, like, full opinion. Also, hi, Flim. How's your night going? Best narrative. Uh, boring. I don't care about superheroes. Boring. Um, I play FF14, haven't played this. I heard it fell apart at the very end from almost every big time Final Fantasy fan whose opinions I respect. Heard the ending of Baldur's Gate 3 is kind of eh, but I mean, that's par for the course for a big CRPG. Divinity Original Sin 2's ending is very underwhelming and not pleasing in my opinion. Alan Wake, I think is the most interesting narrative because I love Stephen King's style of writing and alan wake is very close to that i haven't played alan wake 2 i don't think it'd be fair granted i haven't played any of these games so i'm gonna go with my bias and people can be mad at me cyberpunk boring that's gonna make people upset i don't like cyberpunk the only thing worse than cyberpunk is steampunk and it's by a very small margin <laughs> flood is better in my opinion spider map 2 he swing Galaxy 2 is my favorite 3D Mario. If Bowser's Fury was a full game, then it would be my pick. Oh yeah, no. Bowser's Fury was great. Best art direction. Okay, this one's actually like tricky. <laughs> this one's tricky. Alan Wake 2 looks like a third person shooter horror game. It looks good, but they do live action instead of focusing on heavy CG. Or CG. Instead of heavy like in-engine cutscenes. Lies of P is cool, but it you, you can tell it's a Souls game. You can tell it's supposed to be. Hi-Fi No Contest. Look, it's Hi-Fi Rush. I, I, I like Hi-Fi Rush is better than I like Mario Brothers. And I think Tears of the Kingdom. It, okay, hold on. Here's, here's a bad take coming. I'm going to be honest. This is a bad take. I'm not going to defend it. I think Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is a worse looking version of Skyward Sword. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Hi Fi Rush, take old, well known uh, drawn lines and make it part of the game. It's really nice. Best score in music. I fix her. I just <laughs> also, hi Spectre, welcome in. How's your night going? Um, okay. All right. I play a lot of FF14. M Masayoshi Soken. Soken makes some of the best. Okay, hold on. So can make some of the best music in gaming. Um, I'm just going to be honest. I, I have to give it to, <laughs> to FF16. I'm sorry. Not really. I'm not that sorry. I'm not too sorry. If, if you don't like FF14's music... You're, <laughs> you just have bad taste. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Tara. Welcome in. How's your night going? Pull up screenshots from Skyward Sword and then pull up screenshots from Breath of the Wild. Look, hold on. I'm not going to deny. I think Breath of the Wild looks better in HD resolutions. However, 
<laughs> However, I find Skyward Sword more appealing artistically. From what I've heard, Baldur's Gate 3 is really good. I've heard some of the songs. They're okay. Now, I think you're right. I think Wind Waker did the art style better than both. And Toto. What's Toto? Oh, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Wind Waker is a better version of Skyward Sword. But I think Skyward Sword is a nice, well-rounded maturation of Wind Waker's art style. God, this intro is really long with this operatic sequence. Here it comes. There we go. The best part of the Shadowbringers theme. Man, it's so good. If you know, I'm sorry. Soken has to win. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope that you... Also, uh, someone tell me if the YouTube stream gets like nuked for copyright while live because I'm playing. <laughs> I don't think it is, but if it does, please get, please let me know if the stream just vanishes. Name a song from FF16. Uh huh. Hold on. Uh, Roar of the Earth. Titan's theme. Titan's theme is in there. Gotta be, right? I don't know. I'm not. I don't play FF fans. I, I don't play FF. FF fans, I'm sorry. All I play is FF14. She's cheating. I'm not cheating. I was a guest. <laughs> Name a woman. Uh, Felicia Day. <laughs> is, that a, is that a woman? <laughs> is that a woman? Best audio design. <laughs> Felicia Day Galgado. Dude right here is pre-watching. <laughs> um, best sound design? I I'm sorry. As look, I'm a rhythm game player. I like Hi-Fi Rush. I, I I play it like a psychopath. I don't touch the upgrade tree. I go through base level. Whatever. Unless I have to upgrade. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dead Space nailed its sound design with the remake. They kept they kept the vibe. Everything felt great. I didn't really like Skyward Sword since it was a pain in the ass in some areas and some bosses were beyond mid. Like the imprisoned was Giga Sleeper. No, 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 I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Um, the problem with Skyward, Skyward Sword has problems. It, it is... Me, Isaac. <laughs> it is one of the most flawed Zelda games. Skyward Sword's biggest issue is its pacing is almost fluid and its pacing is fluid because you, you can walk through the game and the flow is different every time if you meter the game out right you can fight the what's it what's it called what's it the imprisoned you can fight the imprisoned three times which is the amount of times you have to fight it in about 40 minutes and it is the most sluggish Trodging nonsense if you manage to set it up like that. I it, it, it's awful. Space stop. I can still hear it. <laughs> this bit sucks. It's not a bit. Are you talking about this song? Uh, you, you're wrong if you're talking about the song. Every bit of the Shadowbringers theme is fantastic. <laughs> Best performance. I don't know. I don't know any of these people. I know Cameron Monoghan, 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 Monoghan. How do you say this man's name? He he does cool, I guess. Well, I wasn't even listening. I just kept back. <laughs> but I meant whatever you're talking about. <laughs> I like Idris Elba. Uh, I like Idris Elba he, as an actor. And I would presume as a VA, he's he's really good. <laughs> It just Elba was good in the office. <laughs> also, for YouTube boys, um, I am trying. I'm trying to work out a way to get TTS to work on YouTube and Twitch with a proper queue system. Using, uh, I won't get into the weeds, but basically an, an Amazon service that I can send the text to. But I have to custom write most of it, <laughs> so I am working on that. 
Just for YouTube people that are wondering, like, why are ever why why can Twitch do the TTS thing and I can't easily? Blame YouTube's API or lack thereof of a good one. What's the price to hit on the caco model? Must be purged. <laughs> What's the price? Uh, you got to pay my FF14 sub. <laughs> okay, let's get the real music back. Let's go back to this. I'm going to give Ild Idris, Idris Elba because I like him as an actor. And I bet he did really well in Phantom Liberty. Hey, Flim, you did this on stream. It's not going to like dox me or anything at the end of this, right? There's no like scary jump scare of my address or something. I did this last year, but I don't know if they've changed anything. Innovation in accessibility. <sighs> All right. Um, so I would say Xbox, but the problem with Xbox is they kind of just nuked third party peripherals, which kind of killed a lot of accessibility functions. So I can't say Xbox now. Why is that auto modded? Wait, what got auto modded? Hold on. Uh, you should have a redeem that enables a voice changer to make you sound like a girl. I used to run with a voice changer. You can, if you go on the YouTube channel and you go to the playlist, you can find all of my old content. I didn't sound exactly like this, but it was close to this, but more smooth. Bro is a walking bait. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you get auto modded and you shouldn't, uh, let me know and I'll grab it. I'm kind of monitoring two chats very like sporadically here. Uh, I cannot let the Nintendo has shit ass consoles mod through. Sells <laughs> a cat girl. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'm going to say hi-fi rush just cause it's the only one I've played and it seemed to have really good accessibility options for people who either cannot physically keep up with the rhythm that is demanded of the game. Or maybe they just suck at rhythm games. I'm a hi-fi show. It's a cool game. The bad, like the downside about Hi-Fi Rush, and this isn't me saying the game's bad. This game would not have lasted more than an hour in discussion if it weren't for Game Pass, and that sucks because Hi-Fi Rush is such a cool game. It, it is such a cool game, and I'm saddened that it isn't more popular on its own. Games for Impact. I never played any of these. Mortal Kombat one Wait. The character removed the requirement for skill. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave you a Ganon. It's lucky it came out when it did. Games no one's heard of. Hold on. You hold on. It, are, hold on. Does really nobody know what Terranil is? Terranil's so cool. I love Terranil. It's so relaxing. All these others, I don't have a clue what these are. Terranil is a reverse RTS where you start on a barren wasteland and you have to build uh, basically flora and fauna back up and you you have to start with planting a like water reservoir that can actually, I don't know what the proper geological term is, uh, hydrate the ground. <laughs> you have to hydrate the dirt. So the plants can slurp up that delicious H2O. Chia is literally Mario Odyssey. I never played it. I'm going to vote for the one I played the demo of and bought and think is a fun, relaxing game. Dampened soul. We end voting bit. I know you're just picking stuff to make us upset. I am explaining my opinion in an articulate manner. What more do you want? <laughs> Soil. No, 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 not the name for dirt and terror, like the process of of hi hydrating the water. <laughs> or wait, hydrating the dirt. <laughs> Best ongoing, we're not gonna talk about the, okay, shit ass skin farm to make you buy with real money. Uh, Okay, I don't care, it's not an ongoing game. It got one expansion and it's done. It's just a video game, this shouldn't be on here. FF14 is the game I play. I've talked about it forever. I The team respects the player base. They tell you to literally cancel your sub if you finished everything and to come back when you have money.
or not money come back when you have content they actively tell the players to not pay their sub if they don't have content to play so just leave and come back they respect your time there's none of this oppressive daily psychological manipulation bullshit in ff14 i'm gonna vote for this one fortnite i don't need to say anything about this genshin impact i'm sorry gotcha game it's literally predatory towards children and helps build gambling addictions early <laughs> Genshin moment hydrate the water <laughs> fortnite <laughs> Look at what Apex did to Titanfall. <sighs> Predatory to children is a cold ass take. Is that good or bad? Because I feel like it's accurate because they literally target they literally target younger demographics who don't have a have a fully developed brain, which means their impulse control is lower. It's it's it is from its core psychologically just destructive oh that's what you mean yeah 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 like i i hate gotcha games i i they never I, here's my here's my take with microtransactions the moment you introduce them within the game itself and by within the game i don't mean they're present i mean you're pushing towards them or you're even showing them in the game as a menu option that you can click on to get to every design decision you make is now incentivized by those microtransactions being visually represented in the game through a ui element that the player needs to engage with ff14 before anyone goes well you have the mog station so you spent like 80 dollars on mounts it, not one mount but in total yes i have i've spent like 300 dollars outside of my sub over the last four years on ff14 however there's not a single menu or ui element in that game to direct the player to the mog station so there's a big Dude, difference a little cousin who plays Genshin. i'm using it as the opposite of a hot take i'm gonna take that as a good thing <laughs> cold is something good or typical save your cousin i think fortnite handles microtransactions pretty well you can handle them well but my problem is with the game design being impacted Crazy negatively it. It, it's it's like adding a stamina bar to a platformer. You don't need it. With it only being skins, but you don't need it. Yeah, no, again, like I I I get that. I, I can't I can't make that too egregious because I I have to give Fortnite credit. It's the least psychologically detrimental battle pass probably in existence. It's the least aggressively evil one. But it's still there. Uh, Blood was complaining about people drawing R34 of some small characters. Hey, you can't control the internet. They're they're gonna do what they want to do. <laughs> Best community support. I'm sorry. I, I thought Blood was complaining about people drawing R34 of those small characters. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize that was a TTS. My mistake. Uh, we're gonna do FF14 again for the reasons I said. No Man's Sky, I was there. I was there. I was pre-ordering this. I was there when it released. I was in the Total Biscuit stream. May he rest in peace. I was in the Total Biscuit stream whenever he had two Titans. When he had two Titans and he could not get this game above 30 FPS and he canceled the stream and he's never canceled a stream before. I was there. I also partook in the ARG that lasted two years for No Man's Sky. I got one of the 1,000 physically printed gold atlas passes that you have to get in game to access certain areas and doors Never forget that fortnite was caught giving people better rng if they bought skins all right well there we go now fuck them then like i was there with no man's sky hello games is head and shoulders above nearly every developer in the western gaming industry i know they're based in europe but they're they're close enough west that i'm calling them western no Man's Sky was shit, but now it's good. It's very fun. It's fun. It still suffers from the issue that procedural generation brings, which is a lot of flash and flare on the surface, but underneath there's something missing of substance, but it's good. It's fun. I, I appreciate and respect what they've done, and they're one of my favorite game developers for it. Nerd. What do you mean nerd? Also, man, I really need to figure out how to get like a 3D microphone arm because it looks like I'm just holding my hand here. <laughs> 
I stream FF more than any game on this stream. It's kind of the thing. Yes, Woman's Land. Best indie game. All right, I know what I'm going to vote for. Man, this is actually a really good running, though. Yes, Holy crap. Uh, Viewfinder has the worst dialogue I've experienced in about five years. Sea of Stars is... Uh, if you like JRPGs and pixel art, it's chef's kiss. It's so good. Um, Dredge is awesome. I thought it was fantastic. Dave the Diver, I don't know if this is an indie game. Because it's developed by a subsidiary developer that is from Nexon. And Nexon is a very large company. And the developer is not a tiny, tiny developer. So to call this indie, we really need to figure out what independent means. Because I feel like the industry doesn't know. And I feel like people haven't figured it out. They did Dave wrong in that picture. <laughs> Which one's Dave? He looks so fat. Okay, this one's Dave. F Dave the Diver. Cocoon looked really cool. Uh, if, viewfinder the one that had horrible dialogue. The viewfinder was the one that whenever you rotate the, the PNG and you place it, she goes, oh, whoa, did you just freaking bend reality with what? Flem, what does she say with, with, with your photography, with your mom? What does she say? It's also the game that teaches you there's no fall damage. And then in case you didn't get it from falling it from an absurd height, the di the dialogue person comes over the speakers and makes the judgment call to go, well, at least you didn't get hurt. I guess that means there's no fall damage. We'll get there. <laughs> there will be timestamps in the VOD, by the way, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I do that now. <laughs> Dave's the diver. Oh, hi. Hi, Elgato. Welcome in. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Sea of Stars. Cocoon was really pretty. If you guys don't know what Cocoon is, um, is, hold on. Let me find a trailer for it. Just skip the whole hour. <laughs> uh, browser, can you load? It's a YouTube video. It shouldn't be that hard. Browser. Firefox Nightly is having some some problems. Here we go. So this is Cocoon. Cell check general. What's in Gen? What the fuck is that? Stream 90% rambling, 10% game. Bruh, welcome to the stream. <laughs> this is my literally this is my biggest hang up with streaming on YouTube is we did always get a lot of people that came in and were like why is the game not what's in the thumbnail like you, why is this so low low res it's like a guide for what's indie why is it so low res though Tara can you give me a higher res one? Oh wait I found it never mind okay so hold on if this is a guide for what's indie I'm not sure how to categorize. Does it have a publisher? Uh, yes. Does the publisher own the studio? Yes. Does it have a large team? No. Does it have a large scope? No. Is it from a well-known developer? No. Oh, I was going to say there's Dave the Diver. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, it's there. <laughs> That's not... Is that indie though? Like, is it? We're arguing semantics at this point. Is it? Because you're low res? Bruh, my model is extremely high res. What are you What are you on? My model is extremely high res. Look at my eyes. <laughs> what are you on? Alright, for people who don't know what Cocoon is, uh, this is the Cocoon trailer. It's really pretty. Highly recommend it. Like, it looks pretty. If it looks cool to you... I highly recommend Cocoon. I think it's gorgeous. Automata again. Hold on. I got ya. I thought this was very cool looking. Visually, I thought it was extremely interesting. By the way, if you don't like, uh, I don't know, birth. <laughs> Might be some gross parts of this game. 
I thought it looked cool though. Like this looks like a proper little indie game that's very, very much filled with a lot of soul. I thought it was really cool how the, like the world kind of generates. Unbirth tag that might get me banned. Pretty. I thought it was really pretty. I thought it looked really cool. I highly like, recommend it. I don't know what you're on. To be fair, that image was made in response to the Dave drama. Fair. It's all recursive and stuff. Ooh. Flem, how was that game you played? Mosa Lisa or Mo Mo Monza Lisa? What the one where the solutions to everything were uh, randomly generated? By the way, I'm giving the Sea of Stars because uh, the music in Sea of Stars is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Sea of Stars. Is it Coral Cascades? Is it this one? Sea of Stars music is so pretty. It's so good. Sea of Stars is so pretty. Go play it. Highly recommend it. It's so pretty. You okay, so do you need a hug? What do you mean? I'm just chilling for a game right now that's gorgeous. It's got a lot of heart in it. Isn't it? My phone charger is super slow for some reason. Mosa Lisa. Mosa. Mosa Lina is really, really good. You say Mona Lisa. I'm not. It's not a bit. <laughs> I'm just passionate. This is my second charger. It might be the wall. Like, is it a. Like, did you change the wall brick? It might be that. I ban him now. They should have samples here. What do you mean? What do you mean by samples? Like of music, or of the game? Love calling everything a bit because one day I'll be right and look like a mind reader. <laughs> Pizza Tower, best debut indie game. All right, Mike is saying Pizza Tower, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't disagree. I hate Pizza Tower. I think it's horrifically flawed. However, Pizza it's a, Tower. I want to be clear. My hate of this game is a me thing. It is not the dev. It's not anything related to anything other than design philosophy. It's a skill issue. I... I think Pizza Tower is the best debut game we've seen in a while, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Dredge is cool. Dredge is awesome. But boy, Pizza Tower is insane. So it goes by she, her. It, it can be anything at this point. I appreciate that, though, Mike. As I've dropped the voice changer, I've slowly like moved to just whatever people would rather like, associate with me. Like, it doesn't really affect, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Streamer doesn't like what what I like. Get him. <laughs> Look, don't attach your opinions to your personality. All right. Viewfinder is crazy good for a debut game. Yeah, but like, but like I'm biased. As long as it doesn't bother you, I'll just keep saying he, but if it does bother you, I can change the pronoun. Let me know. I appreciate that. Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, scroll will go down. Jesus, best mobile game. All right, so I'm gonna run through this real quick. Don't care, probably a gotcha game. I don't know, is it? Is this a gotcha game? Let me Google this. Hold on. FFVII Ever Crisis Gotcha. Are there gotcha elements to this? Okay, yep, there's a gotcha system. Is Hello Kitty a gotcha system? Hello Kitty Island Adventure Gotcha. They're all they're all gotcha? No, they're not. There's one up here that isn't. It's that one. This one, that that one, right there. God, my mic arm's in the way of my left hand. <laughs> Terra Nil is not a gotcha. Terra Nil is a full game. There's no microtransactions. Wait, am I wrong? Because there's not on PC. Terra Nil Mobile 
microtransactions. Okay, yeah, Terranil on mobile seems to be exactly what it is on PC. Hello Kitty is Animal Crossing. Okay, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Stream sucked ass though. The worst takes as a bit and thinks we won't notice. How funny. <laughs> <laughs> if Terra no had microtransactions, that'd be funny. That would be very tone deaf and antithetical to the whole game's premise, which is, man, we're destroying our planet. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Terranil. I'm sorry. I think Terranil is the most interesting concept inverted that I've seen in a long time. Best VR. All right. I'm going to let you guys vote for me. What, what should get this? In VR, you could touch Lady Dimitrescu's ass. I'm going to let you all figure this out. I'm going to let you all vote for me. I... <laughs> VR shouldn't be put as AR. Nuh-uh. What do you mean, nuh-uh? <laughs> I only bought two mobile games. Both aren't pay to win nor have microtransactions. Battery. My battery's going down in the charger. Your wall outlet might not be supplying enough juice. Humanity's a cool game. All right, so Flem is saying humanity. I don't have a VR headset. I took that money and bought a Logitech G923. And a flight stick for like two streams. We literally played Euro Truck Sim and we played ATS twice. And uh, I never used the flight stick on my streams. <laughs> Category to just chatting. Whoa, look, you want look the game's there. Look, the game's been there the whole time. Change category to just chatting. You're not wrong though. I probably should before Twitch screams at me. You're not wrong. I probably should. <laughs> You're not wrong. I probably should. Let me do that. Love the plankton voice. Hold on. It's just chatting. There we go. All right. There. Now we're not breaking any laws. Try blowing. There might be destiny front. I'm back. Hi, hi Robbie. Welcome back. I'm going to... I'm gonna okay, Flem. I'm just gonna defer to you and say humanity because you seem to have decent taste in video games. Best action game. Really, Dead Island Two's on here. Hi-Fi Rush isn't really an action game. Well, I mean, I guess it is. It's like a beat 'em up. It's a beat 'em up third-person hybrid mixed with a. I don't see Flem. He's on YouTube. You have to read him up on the screen. Hi-Fi Rush, pick it. I, I feel like Armored Core is a better action game than Hi-Fi Rush. And Remnant is... Oh, oh, what took you so long, idiot? <laughs> Remnant is just roguelite trying to be dressed up. Ghost Runner, I've never played. It definitely is a character action game. You know what? Fair enough. It's a character action rhythm game. Fair enough. I think Armored Core 6 is, is the best action game, though, this year. I'm... They blew it away. They knocked it out of the park. I'm sorry. Best action adventure game. Is Alan Wake 2 an adventure? Kind of just a story. I just like the rhythm aspect with the combat. Oh, it's really cool. It's really cool. We're never going to play it on stream, by the way, because if you guys watch me play it, you would you would get bored because I I the only time I've opened the upgrade window in in Hi-Fi Rush is when the game tried to show me it existed. Honestly, how did Dead Island 2 beat out Liza P? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Jedi Survivor is interesting, but I don't know if I like it enough. What about Tears of the Kingdom? I think it's bad. <laughs> I think Tears of the Kingdom is just a boring game that has a lot of flash on the surface, and when you if you're not into here let me put it this way if you're a fan of gary's mod big map and you're just in creative mode and you're building Armored wacky Core things six is the best action game without question <laughs> this is plankton and i approve this <laughs> message i i feel like if you like building random fun objects in Gary's Mod, this is right up your alley. It's not for me. I don't like it. I like Zelda. I don't like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> um, 
Resident Evil 4 is just a remaster. I don't think that deserves to be up against brand new games. I don't think that's fair. It felt like it's missing everything that it, that while I didn't like Breath of the Wild had. I, look, I played Breath of the Wild like a crazy person and I got bored. I, I beat two of the blights with three hearts and no armor and a bunch of sticks because the game, when you give the player a sword and it takes five hits and the sword shatters, who cares? Like, who cares? Just pick up 80 sticks. Who cares? You don't need the other weapon. I'm going to pick Jedi Survivor because I Respawn has done a good job with that. Change vote. Wait, how do I go to the next one? Oh. Tears of the Kingdom fixed the lack of dungeons, but still kind of was missing stuff. I feel like Nintendo's trying to go too big too fast with, with it. And they're not messing up. It's just... The lack of actual substance is losing players like me. Best RPG. All right. Well, well, Starfield's kind of mid. Yeah. Yeah. What if they don't want you? I, I guess I'll go play FF14. I don't know. <laughs> Lies of P. Uh, uh, th these two are like what I'm feeling. Sea of Stars versus Lies of P. Lies of P looks cool, but I feel like Lies of P is just a small twist on a formula. We, and a really good small twist. I don't want to undersell what I'm saying. It's a really good small twist. We haven't gotten a nice isometric, traditional pixel art, JRPG inspired modern day RPG with gorgeous music and gorgeous pixel art in like a decade. I think I have to give it to Sea of Stars. Lies of PP. Look, if Sea of Stars wasn't up here, it'd go to Lies of P. I have to give it to Lies of P. Or, wait, if Sea of Stars wasn't up here, I'd give it to Lies of P. I have to give it to Sea of Stars. Best fighting game. I don't play fighting games. So uh, someone vote for me. The first one up is who I'm going to vote for. Ever heard of Dying Light? I love Dying Light. Dying Light 1 is so good. Thought I told you to stop this hating popular game. Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If that TTS doesn't come through, I'll just read it out loud. You I, might not have enough time. I told you to stop this hating popular games bit. This is Sheldon J. Plankton. And I do not approve this message. <laughs> Can't go, <laughs> you could be only the only human to vote for God of Rock. <laughs> Best family game. I'm gonna Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I'm like, I know people like Snowick and Knuckles, and oh my god, I just realized the other day because of someone on Twitter that tells miles per hour is miles per hour i never caught that i never knew that before anyone calls me stupid i want to deflect over to rich real quick who's not on stream he can't defend himself i had to teach this man when he was like 20 that ihop stood for international house of pancakes so i, I want you guys to just cement that in your mind and forget what i just told you how long did it take you to know that? <laughs> Bro, why the hell is Disney Illusion Island here? Because it's a family game. You never knew that? No, I hate Sonic. Why would I know that? <laughs> Sonic fans aren't children anymore. Uninstall OBS right now. <laughs> How do you know what software I'm using? How do you know that? Best Sim slash strategy game. All right. Really good gotcha shit. Probably good. I hate RTSs. Um, I don't care for city builders. Gonna go play Dying Light. Bye, y'all. Bye, Robbie. Have a good night. Enjoy Dying Light. It's either OBS or Streamlabs. All others are kind of mid. I keep seeing VTubers just randomly be like, use Prism Live. It's really cool. And man, I okay, I have Prism Live on my system. Um, no one's going to care about this but me because I stream and maybe Flem. And if anyone else knows anything about streaming, <laughs> I have Prism Live. 
it's cool. However, Prism Live doesn't have the integrations with some of the software I use. <laughs> Will I get in trouble for trying to break TTS? If you spam, yes. If you're trying to get past like censorship and things, uh, yeah, probably. Like my uh, my advice is if you hang around enough, you'll figure out what is kind of okay to do with TTS. Because I'll allow some things for the fun of it, but I have to draw a an, like an optics line somewhere. <laughs> Who here on XSplit? Bruh, there's someone out there on XSplit. So. I love that VTubers have created their own streaming platform. <laughs> it is held together by duct tape, prayers, and many, many, many gigabytes of RAM. Hold on. Vinny uses XSplit stuff. Who the fuck? Why? I meant break and how the vocals sound like when cat girl. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. People do it all the time. Just don't spam. I'm going to give it to Advanced Wars. I, I, this looks like the coolest. I don't care about the other games. <laughs> Best sports game or, or racing game. Uh, Money scam. My, uh, this is getting shallower and shallower every year as someone who's adjacently interested in the sim racing scene. Fuck you, Sal. Now play the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Forza Motorsport is fun. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged is apparently really, really good for an arcade racer. And the Crew Motorfest is kind of ah. Eh. I'm going to go with the underdog here just for the fun of it. I'll be honest. Best multiplayer. Uh, all right. This is worse than New Super Mario Brothers U. Or what's the one where you can put the platforms and you can hit each other? Is that is that Super Mario Brothers U or is that uh, 3D World where they finally introduced that? Because they got rid of the actual collision on each other. I feel like that makes the multiplayer less fun for people like me who are competitive but uh, chaotically aligned. I think the multiplayer in this is still really good, though. Baldur's Gate appeals to me, and Diablo appeals to me, but I hate Diablo 4 because Blizzard is greedy and terrible. Nearly an hour and you haven't played the game. No one cares about the Game Awards. Just... I'm sorry. I'm trying to get better at recognizing if that's a TTS message because here, I need to, I'll show you guys what I see on my end. Since I'm using the restream chat, uh, game, your message is going to be on screen. I'm sorry. This is all I see, so I, I get no indication that it's a TTS message, so I apologize. I'm trying to read the first sentence in my head and then not read it if it looks like it's TTS. Fuck Forza and their new premium subscription for multiplayer. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, no, fuck Forza. Anything Nintendo related to ship multiplayer because you have to pay for it. I don't know, I mean, I, I pay 13 a month for FF14 and uh, it's pretty fun. Um, honestly, Super Mario Brothers. Like, I, it's just a good safe choice. Nearly an hour in, and you haven't played the game. No one cares about the game. Awards, it's a scam anyway. Does anybody? Sheldon J. Plankton. You would have been literally on fire if you were here during. When was it? We were doing, we were supposed to do FF14 Endwalker, I think. And someone just sent the US alien hearing from earlier this year. And we just watched it for the whole stream. We canceled everything we had planned. And we just sat there and watched the, the US Congress alien hearing <laughs> for like three hours. <laughs> Plankton has a lot of heated gamer takes. Best adaptation. All right. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. Okay, this is mid. I don't care. Uh, nostalgia goggles, whatever. Be mad at me, Mario fans. Nintendo's not your friend. They're they're not going to have sex with you. Um, Last of Us is okay. They changed some scenes and for some weird reasons that I'm not a fan of. Gran Turismo is kind of meh. Castlevania and Nocturne, I don't care about. Animes for nerds. Uh, Twisted Metal is so much fun. It has no reason being as fun as it is when it's owning how campy the Twisted Metal games are. Every episode has the title drop and it's just a, a, a really gross JPEG of the Twisted Metal logo. <laughs> Cracks me up. If you haven't seen the Twisted Metal show, go watch the first two episodes. It's super cool. 
Sponsored by Peacock. Look! Sponsored stream. <laughs> It's also why motorsports games were uh, sweep to the shadows as a head bullshit paying for multiplayer. Oh, Forza Motorsport. I'm voting for Twisted Metal. By the way, just for posterity's sake, if you think I just hate anime, I, you haven't been here long enough. <laughs> as someone who watches eight anime every tw 12 weeks, like minimum for each new anime season, I'm very much obsessed. Most anticipated game. Uh, we got Hotness 2. I don't care about Hotness. I hate... I hate roguelites. They're bad. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I haven't ever played. Like a Dragon looks cool. Star Wars is boring. Where's Silk Song? Yeah, where is Silk Song? Tekken 8. Only Tekken fans care about that. I'm going to have to give it to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Infinite Wealth. You what? <laughs> I what what? <laughs> Roguelites are terrible. I'm sorry. Silk Song doesn't release this year. You know what? Fair. Content creator of the year. All right. I have no idea who this is. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. I've heard his name. Have no idea who this is. I've literally never seen more than five seconds of Iron Mouse footage. I've heard most of her cover of King, and that's it. <laughs> Pick the VTuber. That's just bias. I hope it yells when I do all caps. It'd be funny. It, it's kind of hit or miss. I'm not sure if this it will. Sheldon J. Plankton tuning in again. VTuber this for the win. This little prick hates rogue <laughs> lights. Please rip him apart. <laughs> A prick needs to make a comeback. That's like my favorite word to describe someone who's an asshole because I feel like it's there's, there's less energy behind it, but it, it's more reductionist to their presence in your life. PMG makes good game dev documentaries. Okay, you know what? We're going to go with them. I'm sorry. Uh, as someone who doesn't watch, I watch one streamer. I watch Pay Money Wubby. I watch nobody else. I watch Flem and Streaming Mutuals because I think like they genuinely make good content so i can't be a hypocrite in that regard i do technically like watch other people the other three are just gamers <laughs> so what you're saying is one's helping the industry three aren't like in it and cutting off sentences like a bit hot in here best esports title can i just skip why why where's my abstain button why can't we get the Game Awards to have like the the yays for PUBG Mobile have it with 7,500 abstained? <laughs> Why can't we have that? I would love to see people that just abstain from PUBG. The other three play Minecraft and Fortnite. Okay, so they're just uh, farming views from kids. Got it. Um, Counter Strike is okay, but I mean. I feel like Valorant is trying to be Overwatch mixed with Counter-Strike, but they also have that crazy... Doesn't Valorant have the Ring Zero access before the Windows kernel even boots up for its anti-cheat? Is that real? I didn't realize it was specifically PUBG Mobile. Could you imagine a, like, you know the normal esports layout, except it's, it's like eight people versus eight people and they all have iPads? Wait, what if one of the guys walks out and he's he's got a Samsung Galaxy 10.1 tablet and he's like, no, this is my preferred controller. <laughs> Someone's going to walk out with an iPod Touch 4th Gen. That's been heavily modified. I'm going to give it to Counter-Strike because I'm I, I played Counter-Strike a lot. It's the only one I know. What's an eSport? I think it's like an efficiency sport. It's uh how... How inactive you can be in the game without getting kicked. You know they have some crazy setups. <laughs> like for mobile games? 10 different attachments on the phone. Bro, I'm sorry. Dude, okay, as a rhythm game player who I'm going to self-identify here as a, a fairly high on the skill ceiling of rhythm game players. Look, I, I laugh when I see people go so sweat mode in 
songs like uh, Halcyon in the original Sidus on Android and iOS. I, I have a full FC in that. I, I 100%ed it, perfect, all color perfects, whatever. I do not understand the people that when I see them trying to clear it on YouTube and they post the video, you see them put baby powder on their screen because their fingers stick too much. And it's just, it, it, it's like, I, at, I, I get that. My fingers also stick to my iPad screen and my phone and whatever, but I get that. But it's not that hard. It's not that serious. I never decided my redeemed game. Yeah, yeah, I haven't added you. I do have a whiteboard. I want to make that clear for everyone. I still have Leo. You're written down as Terraria, but I vetoed it. We have to find something else. I think that's exactly what I wrote on the, on the whiteboard. <laughs> Best esports athlete. I don't know this sports would be fire on God real and true. <laughs> I put squirrel stapler as it's one of the stream game. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 If you put that in there, put it in the uh, suggestions chat if you didn't already and just label it as like a redeemed game and then I'll put it on my whiteboard because we're going to try to start Kingdom Hearts one next week. I'm going to pick uh, Matthew Zwiu Herbot. I don't know how to say his name. I probably butchered that. He looks nice. He looks like he he would he would be nice to me at a, like a Best Buy or something. I don't know. I want to pick him. I don't watch esports. Esports are boring. I'd rather just play the game. Best team. Who do you think has the cleanest room? Damn it! Wait, can I go back? Hold on. Hold on. But watch you skip another three zero. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. Okay. Uh, cleanest room. Probably Faker, either Faker or uh, Max. That that one of these two. Um, I feel like Zewu Zewu probably has a room like mine where the, the desk is a mess and there's like a pile of stuff next to the chair. You know, Faker's dusting his room every day. Faker probably does what I do to my car, where I get into it, I see dust on the dashboard, and I reach into my back seat. I grab a brand new microfiber towel. I'm not kidding, by the way. I buy like big 50 packs of these things. And I wipe down the dashboard. <laughs> Say, fellas, did someone mention the door to darkness? Me. What is that? Oh, is that is that a Kingdom Hearts thing? Um You know, I don't know any of these, but because of my one of my best friends, Rich, plays a Dota 2. I'm going to pick the Dota 2 team. I don't know who these people are. Best coach. Um, I, I, I don't know these people. <laughs> Can I? Okay. Is it mean if I vote for someone because they look like NoHo Hank? Game suggestions are no more. What do you mean? It should be. Oh, it's titled Stream Suggestions now. Put it in Stream Suggestions. Can I vote for uh, XTQZZZ because he looks like Noho Hank from Barry? <laughs> Does that mean? <laughs> I don't know who this is. I'm voting for him. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Best esports event. Uh, Evo is cool. Sells racist. How is that racist? How is that racist? Oh, no, hold on. No, 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 no. Well, how's that racist? I'm not even going to dignify entertaining that beyond how is that racist. I want you to explain to me how that's racist. All right. Did we vote for everything? <laughs> All right. We voted for everything.